Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are only going to simplify this problem right here. But before I start I would like to ask this question. Are we going to end off with an imaginary solution or a real solution? So if you want to give it a try kindly pause the video and if you are ready let's continue. I like substitution so let us set everything here to be equal to y. Secondly I want to set 1 minus root of negative 3 to be u and I want to set 1 plus root of negative 3 to be v. What does this mean? It means that the root of u plus root of v is equal to y by substitution. But before we continue I want us to find u plus v and u multiplied by v. Let us start with this one. You know u is going to be 1 minus root of negative 3 then plus v is 1 plus root of negative 3. You can see this root of negative 3 here is negative while this one is positive so they will cancel out automatically. What we have left is just 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. This means that u plus v is equal to 2. Secondly, I want us to find u, v. So we are going to take this and multiply them together. We have 1 minus root of negative 3 multiplied by 1 plus root of negative 3. Look at them very carefully. They are just difference of two squares. If they are difference of two squares, you take the first term, you square it, you subtract, you take the second term and also square it. So we are going to square this as well. But root of negative 3 is imaginary. So there are two possible ways for you to simplify this. If you cancel square root with a power of 2, we end up having minus minus 3 which is going to make it positive. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And if you like, you can simplify it, you know, it is going to be, uh, you know, root of negative 3 is the same thing as root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 3. Uh, root of negative 1 is i, and root of 3 remain root of 3. But if you square i and square root of 3, square them, i squared is negative 1, and uh, root 3 squared is going to make it um, 3. So if you multiply them, you get negative 3. So in either way, you're going to get negative 3. So this is the same thing as 1 plus, uh, okay, 3, not 4, 3. And this is equal to 4. So by multiplying uv, we end up getting 4. So let me write these two information aside. We have, we have u, plus v to be equal to 2 and uv to be equal to 4. So let me wipe this away and solve my equation because I have formed equation already. You can see it from here. Okay, now let us take square both sides in order to eliminate the square root from the left hand side. So we have root of u plus root of v all squared and this is equal to y squared, right? In the end, whatever the value of y is, is said to be the solution to the left-hand side. So using binomial theorem, you see first term squared is make, going to make it u, plus second term squared is going to make it v, plus 2 multiplied by the first and the second term. Root of u times root of v is root of uv, but we have 2 as a factor. uv. Uh, this is equal to y squared. From there, you can see that u plus b, we have obtained it to be equal to 2. So we can replace it by 2 plus 2 multiplied by root of uv is equal to 4. So we have 4 here. And to the right, we have y squared. Okay, you know that square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 and this is equal to y squared. From um, board mass, you know you have to start multiplying before adding. So we have 2 multiplied by 2, 
which is equal to 4 and 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so we have 6 to be equal to y squared we are looking for y so now we can take the square root of both sides we have y to be equal to uh, plus or minus uh, root 6 but to remember left hand side are all positive roots so we are going to consider positive solution and finally you can see that y is equal to root 6 which is a real solution so we are able to obtain a real solution while simplifying this problem i would like to hear your opinions about this simplification thank you for watching do have a nice day